Welcome to Nature Sunshine's manufacturing facility. Renowned throughout the industry, Nature Sunshine's quality is second to none. And we're able to maintain that position because we manufacture all of our own products, something we've been doing for over 30 years. By overseeing the production process from start to finish, we can guarantee that we have the highest quality supplements on the market. Let's go inside and see how they do it. The quality of Nature Sunshine's manufacturing facility begins with GMPs, Good Manufacturing Practices, and SOPs, Standard Operating Procedures. We have over 800 of them. We follow these guidelines to help ensure that our products are made the same way consistently, to avoid contamination, and to preserve product potency. These guidelines help lay the foundation for successful, high-quality production. Everyone in this building is required to pass GMP testing every year, whether they work at the front desk or in the quality assurance labs. Speaking of quality, let's visit with Linda Hammonds. She's the Vice President of Quality Assurance. Hi, Linda. Hi. I'm Brenda. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. I am so excited to learn more about quality assurance here at Nature Sunshine. Well, quality is a really big concern in the nutritional supplement industry today. In Nature Sunshine, we conduct our tests to verify that not only does our quality meet industry standards, but it actually exceeds industry standards. Now, one of the best tests that we use for assuring the quality of our herbs is this, the TLC. That stands for Thin Layer Chromatography. What that does, it actually separates an, an herb into its actives, so we can then assure that it does have the highest quality required by Nature Sunshine. Okay, you've lost me. <laughs> How does it work? <laughs> well, it is fairly complex, but I'll put it simple. Actually, um, this liquid, which is an extract of the herb, is spotted using this equipment on this development plate. It then, through development and capillary action, actually moves the different actives up into various bands at different levels. Simply put, it's similar to a DNA of a plant. Mm -hmm. So by using, looking at this, we can then assure that the correct part of the plant was used, the correct species was used, and as importantly, that that plant was harvested at the correct time to make sure that it does have all the synergistic actives that are required for the beneficial effects. Now at Nature Sunshine, we use over 300 different tests to assure our quality. This is only one of the labs that we do those tests in. We have three other labs, and I'd like to go in there with you and talk about the tests that we do in those labs. Oh, I'd love to. That's great. This is the mineral lab where we test for minerals that we would want, beneficial minerals such as calcium, magnesium. It's also the lab where we're testing for metals that you would not want, heavy metals like arsenic, cadmium, mercury, and lead. Have you ever actually seen contamination with heavy metals? Oh yes, we've had numerous rejects for things such as heavy metals. Oat straw, for example, contained mercury because it was contaminated from the soil. And of course, those are immediately rejected and returned to the supplier. Wow. Talk about quality control. <laughs> yes, we can actually test in this lab down to parts per billion and often parts per trillion. That's so interesting. Well, let's move on. This is the vitamin lab where we test our vitamin products. One of the most critical tests that we do on vitamin tablets is a dissolution test. We put a tablet into this apparatus and it actually has it dissolve and then our quality control chemist draws off the liquid and actually tests it to ensure that the vitamin is dissolving in the correct amount of time. Okay, Linda, let me just make sure I have this right. You're testing how long it takes for a vitamin to dissolve. My next question is, is why is that so important? You're correct, and it does test how long it takes to dissolve, but it's very important. If a vitamin dissolves too quickly, it's not going to be available to your body. And if it takes too long, then it's actually going to go through your body and be eliminated before your body can actually absorb it. So, yes, it's very critical. Wow. Very now I want to show you one other thing, and okay. let's go to another lab. All right. This is our micro lab. This is where we're testing for microbial contamination. We test every lot of raw materials to make sure it's not contaminated with microorganisms. And then we check each lot of every finished product to make sure we've not contaminated it somewhere throughout the process. Wow, I am amazed at how much testing goes on. I can see a lot of effort goes into making a high quality product. 
Linda, thank you so much for spending time with us. Well, thanks for coming by. I'm really proud of our highest quality at Nature Sunshine, and I really enjoyed talking about it. I did too. Thanks a lot. Hi, we're here with John Hughes. He's with the Manufacturing Division. John, can you tell us a little bit about your title and what you do here? Yeah, I'm Director of Facilities and Engineering here at the Manufacturing Site. And what we have done here is built a building around the highest quality standards and the highest quality environment possible to produce these products in. Um, the same way that we would protect our incoming raw materials that go into products, we want to have an environment that's based on good manufacturing practices, a high air quality, and uh, one that's conducive to producing the highest quality product. Hey, can we go take a look? Let's go take a look. Right. Sounds great. So John, what are we going to look at first here? Well, we're going to stop by our encapsulation area. We're going to use this as an example of our production areas. In this state-of-the-art facility we have built, all of our production areas have high efficiency filtration. And the high efficiency filtration is monitored through these pressure control boxes. We want to have a higher pressure in those high efficiency areas than say we would out here in the hallway, which is a different grade of air quality and filtration. And so that's what this pressure monitoring box is doing for our encapsulation area here where we have our encapsulation machines. Aha. Uh -huh. Hey, can you talk a little bit about those GMPs, those good manufacturing yeah, practices? Yeah, our good manufacturing practices. Well, Don, could we use you for a minute? Uh, as you can see, what Don's wearing here is a clean uniform that's issued each day, a shirt and pants. Mm -hmm. We also have to have all of our hair covered, so a hairnet, beard cover, and we also have dedicated footwear. So this dedicated footwear is isolated to the inside of the building. It's not worn outside. We don't want to bring any outside contaminants to the inside of the building. So, and that's what's required to be worn in these areas. Okay, so I don't have those things on. I can't go in there, you right? You can't go in those areas. <laughs> but you can. Thanks, Don. Thanks, Don. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on in here? Yeah, this is our encapsulation suite. We have eight of these encapsulation suites. This is one of those areas that we talked about with the high efficiency air filtration, the high pressure control and low pressure control. And this is where a lot of our encapsulated products are put into the gelatin capsules are on machines like this one. John, it looks like your company has invested a lot of money in different types of equipment. Brenda, we have invested in various areas. We've looked at encapsulation, some of our other areas, in our liquid process and bottle filling. We have invested over a million dollars so that we can have our own liquid capability in-house. Is that the norm? Is that what everybody else does? Or is that something it's, unique to you guys? We find it's fairly common to have these liquid products contracted out to someone else. We want to have our own control over it. We want to have the same GMP quality standards the same high efficiency air filtration and controls when we produce these types of products. And so we do these in-house. That makes sense. Now we've just finished learning a little bit about the facility and we'd like to find out something about the processes involved. This is Herb Patterson. Tell us what you do here at Nature Sunshine. I'm a supervisor over the issuing and mixing of raw materials here in the manufacturing facility. Okay, and what exactly does that mean? <laughs> well, we issue the, each raw material to a specific work order, which is a recipe, and then we issue it into a mill, and then it takes it into a bin where we mix it, and then we go from there. Okay. Now, I notice we have the bins behind us here. What sets them apart? What makes them unique? Well, they're stainless steel bins, and we have two different sizes. We have an 800 and an 1800, and the actual design of how we specifically design these to meet our needs. Um, it's an airtight system, as I mentioned. The lid has baffles in it, which allows it, as it tumbles slow. So it's a slower RPM, making sure that the process is going nice and evenly. Exactly, and that ensures that every raw material is dispersed evenly through the mix, and then in the end, into the capsule or tablet. Okay, now I know you guys have super high standards. I hear that you have standards that go way above and beyond the norm in the industry. Yes, when we designed the entire building and the processes, everything was mirrored upon pharmaceutical standards, and therefore, everything that we designed and purchased 
was mirrored upon what the pharmaceutical companies require, and we took that on as a nutraceutical, which not, many people won't do. Well, as you can see, we're here in a lab, and we're going to be talking to Ken Fugel. Ken, what is your role here at Nature Sunshine? I'm the director of research and development. In this laboratory, we do testing of our herbs. Uh, we develop analy analytical tests, and you can see we have very sophisticated, state-of-the-art equipment. We have four PhDs that work in this laboratory that develop these tests for us. This work is very important because when we have the herbs, there are active components in those herbs that we have to verify that uh, the ingredients are indeed present, and we want to make sure that the right amounts of the active ingredients are present as well. Now, I know you work with some other people. You had mentioned a university. What's uh -huh. your involvement with them? We, we do work. We collaborate with other uni uh, Ohio State University. We have a project going with them, as well as the Ford Cancer Center. And uh, this work is cutting edge. We feel very good about it. Uh, much of this work will be published in, uh, in peer-reviewed journals. And we're just very excited about some of the work that's going on in, the, in the, those areas as well. Yeah. I think it's unique and also extraordinary that Nature Sunshine has all of this stuff going on in-house. I mean, some people would maybe contract a, a division here or there or trust some other entity. Right. Is there a reason that you do everything here? A very important uh, a question, good question, very important reason that we do it in-house because this gives us the control, the ability to do the testing, and we can verify. So when we talk to our suppliers and they talk about uh, the, the uh, amounts or components, we can verify that they are actually there. And then we uh, pass these methods on to quality assurance and therefore we have the consistent quality batch after batch of our products. Wow. So what are we going to look at next? We're going to go to a laboratory that uh, where we develop, actually develop the products. This is talking about the analytical methods. There we'll talk about how we actually develop the products. Okay. Let's go check it out. Okay. Well Ken, here we are in research and development. This is where all of those great ideas come to life, right? That's right. <laughs> This is what we call our pilot lab, and this is where we do an awful lot of our testing of the product before it goes to production. It gives us the opportunity to put together uh, capsules. In this case, we have a pilot encapsulator, and uh, we're able to uh, make sure that uh, all the ingredients flow well, that, uh, that it really would work in production. Wow, very impressive. How about this room? What do we have going on in here? In here, we have uh, work going on. that We have a tablet coder. We have a mixer. We have a fluid bed granulator, and uh, again, these scientists have the experience, and a lot of the work that they do comes just by hands-on experience, and it's so terribly important. Yeah. We have an awful lot of talent with our group in research and development. Most of the scientists have uh, degrees, in, at least a bachelor's degrees or better, and uh, that is important. It gives us the control, the ability to, to do the work that we can look at, we can control and make sure it's done right. We don't have to depend on someone on the outside to do this work and to uh, tell us that uh, what they've done is right. We test, we do it, we know that it is done and it is done well. Mm -hmm. High quality products. Yes. Thank you for spending time with us today. You're most welcome. We appreciate Brenda. it. Thank you. Well, here we are at the end of the line in the finished product warehouse where everything in here is getting ready to be shipped out. I've really enjoyed my tour today, and I think it gives you a better idea of what it takes to produce the highest quality product on the market today. Thanks for watching, everybody.